Hey, what's up? This is Justin with Wingsound.com. Let's say you have a real noisy audio track. I'm going to show you how to use a noise gate in Pro Tools 8 to get rid of all that noise and make everything real clean. Okay, so I have a guitar track here and I want to get rid of the hum that's in between every time the guitar player stops playing. So I'm going to use a gate to do this. Now let's listen to the hum. So you could hear every time he stops playing, there's the feedback from the amp coming through as the hum, and I want to get rid of that. So to get to the uh, expander gate, you go to plugin, dynamic, and expander gate. Now the expander gate it looks sort of the same as the compressor, and it has a lot of the same parameters as well. Range, ratio, release, attack, hold, threshold. So if you know how to work a compressor, it kind of goes over into how to use a gate too. The only thing is it doesn't push the audio up like in a compressor when you compress all the audio, all the sounds together and bring it up. It doesn't do that. It just essentially you can gate out noise or you know use a sound to be the, the main sound in, the, in that file. Like if it's a kick drum, but you hear everything else from the kit, you use the kick drum as your main guide to try and stay around and you gate everything out of the kick drum and just keep the kick drum alive. So I'm gonna just mess around with some of these parameters here to see what I can get. Okay, so just with a few quick adjustments, I got rid of it. Now, I only move the threshold and the ratio because I have a very fast transients. So my attack, I want it to be fast because I want the gate to react really fast. Same thing with the release. I don't want the release to be long. I want it to be fast because the playing is fast. And the hold, I don't want it to hold because then it's just going to let in the stuff that I'm trying to get out. And the range, I leave it at my, I left it there because I don't want anything past what my threshold is set at. So I, you know, I usually kind of work with threshold and ratio first and then mess around with the other parameters because those ones really, for me, are the, you know, the easiest to get into to figure out where I need to go with everything else. So I'll play it again with and without the gate. And as you can see, I, I also got rid of like little hits from the, the guitar player's fingers too when he was playing. So this is a really great uh, thing to use to get rid of maybe some little hits here and there and to get rid of noise to clean up your audio really well. You can always get in touch with Justin at Winksound.com and check out more of Justin's videos including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8 now available on demand at Winksound.com.